difference? I don't know. Okay, so do you want to? Hello, welcome to being welcome. together with Sabel and James. <laughs> Episode ninety nine. We just want to make sure we get that. Everybody understands that we've we've done this 99 times. Well, not in a row because we took Sundays off, but we, you know, I, I'm I'm really happy about what we've created so far. And, oh, and we yeah. have some oh, yeah. things we're discussing what we're going to do maybe differently after episode 100. So it's mm -hmm. it's quite exciting. And I've been working on I, I uh, been in technician mode. So I have all those videos on YouTube, but now I want to like copy paste the descriptions from Facebook and that turns into a, a bit more than <laughs> takes more time than I thought it would it would take. But it's uh, it, it's kind of interesting as I go in uh, and look at them and I hear snippets from our conversation is like, oh, yeah, that was a really fascinating one. Oh, that was really, <laughs> that, that was really interesting. It's, it's like we have, we have a treasure trove of, of topics there that we've, we've, uh, I love it. I love it. Cool. Yeah. We, we discussed about a lot of things. And I think yeah. that, yes, although we are the one who discussed them, the, those things, um, if we go, when we go back to them and listen to them, we learn some new things. So, yeah. Well, well, a lot of times you for, you forget all the details of the subject matter you talked about or what you specifically said, and it's like, oh yeah, that was that was interesting that we we talked about that. You know what? I don't even remember, you know, <laughs> the next day what I've said the day before yeah. because yeah. usually it's just on the in the moment, and yeah. Also, after each episode, we are. Um, new people. We after every day. We, oh, I love that perspective. We grow more. Yeah. We learn yeah. more things. So, yeah, we're more. Yeah, I love that idea that you're wiser. you're a new person after mm -hmm. this conversation, and mm -hmm. it's true. It, it's true in every moment, really. But it is. Yeah, yeah. we evolve, right? Yeah, we I evolve. We learn new things. So it's interesting. But I'm super proud to be doing it for 99. You know, yeah, more than 99 days. But we've yeah. been doing it. Um, this is a 99th time. Um, and it, it's sort of a, a juggling, I think more so for you than for me, but in terms of, you know, balancing your, your family life and your responsibilities, taking the kids to where they need to be and so on. It's, it's, you know, it's quite an accomplishment actually. It to, is, but it's a know, commitment. Yeah. It's a lovely commitment. Yeah. I yeah. think, um, yeah, I like, um, being with you here and just discussing things. Yeah. Um, and you know, as we are learning them, as we're growing, as yeah. we're evolving. Yeah. So I think it's um it's great to to be doing it. So I'm I'm glad and I hope that yeah, after the episode 100, we will be bringing even more uh fun things, more insights, and maybe mm. make it more um thematic with the theme. How do you say? Right. Thematic? Yeah. So so we have uh maybe a theme that we're going to talk about and we're going to discuss a specific theme. And then once we know that, then we can actually do some promotion ahead of time. Yeah, I think yeah. we want to expand on some ideas because this is just kind of a discussion randomly. But um, what's coming up is more like uh, we take a subject, you know, something, and then we'll talk about it more in depth. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and then yeah so i think that i think that format would be nice as well so we we'll try you know we are yeah, not yeah. set on a stone and you know we're not rigid yeah we yeah we like to yeah, try sure. things and yeah see how it that will go and maybe i'll figure out something as far as timing well we probably <laughs> I, like sometimes like you listen to podcasts and i i know uh, you're a big fan of certain podcasts and i I uh, have my go-tos that I, I listen to uh, quite a bit. And the the length will vary tremendously. It's, it varies, yeah. Yeah, we so sometimes stop. it's 15 minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes, and sometimes it's a, an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and a half. And there are even longer form podcasts than what I listen to mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I think you and I, we don't want to do more than 20 minutes. Yeah, pro probably not. Probably, probably not. not. I think um, a short format is great because mm -hmm. um people are busy but we can think about maybe doing a longer episode once a month yeah or yeah like so that. Oh, no. so what uh and, and i go back to i always those of you who are watching if if you yeah. want a podcast that um uh 
I would highly recommend the Life Coach School podcast by uh, uh, Brooke Castillo is, is the host of that one. That's a, a really good. But what she did in her first, and I've listened to it. She's up to 450 episodes now. So that's that would represent what? Like 10 years worth of work if it's like a weekly thing. But in her first episodes, they were all very short. They were being f- between 15 and 20 minutes. And they all had a specific topic. So it was like she had planned out at first, well, this is how I'm going to roll it out. This is the sequence I'm going to roll it out and just lay out all of the concepts that I teach at the, at the time, all the concepts that she teaches. So, so that's something we could think about too. It's like, well, what? Yeah, because Brooke Brooke though has an agenda, you know, you and I don't have an agenda. Brooke has Mm -hmm. a a coaching school and um, I see her doing some promotion about the classes she's going to launch as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it's um, it's different. But yeah, we are probably also going to have going to have some things we want to promote. I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, but, uh, definitely. Yeah. I, I, but definitely for now, sure. yes, I, yeah. I enjoy, um, the, you know, the, the discussion and yeah. uh, coming as we are, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, you know what? I, on that, this is sort of not it's on a tangent a little bit. But as I was going through all the videos that are uploaded, YouTube selects the thumbnail that it wants to push. And a lot of them were the, the ones that I downloaded off of Zoom. What we uploaded is not the one where, where we see us side by side. It's we go back and forth. So like when I'm speaking now, the camera's on me. And then when you speak, the camera's on, on you. But that means that in a lot of them, the choices of thumbnail are just, it's one person, right? It doesn't have like, it, this is one's Sabelle, this one's James. So, but I, I I'm kind of disappointed when they're of me because I'd much rather see you. <laughs> than, than I mean, if it's a conversation, it's you and I. It's good to see both. Yeah, well, so. I mean, that that's extra things we could do. We could put, you can put different thumbnails on, you know, yeah. you can do whatever to the cover art after the fact. But uh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm, mm-hmm. uh, anyway. like I said, I'm, I'm into deep into technician mode. And, and it's like <laughs> when I'm do, doing something technical like that, I have a tendency to, learn it and go on autopilot with and automate everything I'm doing. And then if I don't do it for a while, then I, then I kind of lose it. And that, that, I'm glad I'm not a technician. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad you are. I'm glad you take care of those things for us. I'm very grateful for you for that because I would rather just talk. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, well, you, you probably experienced, I, I don't know, are there certain computer programs that you use, like you find that you'll use for a certain amount of time and then you go away from them and you don't use them for a while? Oh, computer wise, I use uh, Microsoft Office. You know, I use okay. PowerPoint. I used to okay. use PowerPoint a lot, not very much. I do Word or every day. Okay. Um, I used to use Excel, but not that very much. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I would say words and PowerPoint are my friends, and yeah. that's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I find that. Well, I've I've played around with Excel, and I go back into it, and a lot of people say, "Well, you got to do use spreadsheets for all this," and and I'm I'm sort of have this resistance to it. But what I found when I use it, and the same thing for Word or PowerPoint or anything really, is I get used to what the keyboard shortcuts are and the way of doing certain things. And it becomes part of my mental process, but I don't uh, write it down or log it in that sort of way. So, so when I come back, let's say I was using Excel and then for a couple of months, I didn't even look at it. Right. Then I come back and it's like, well, how did I do this? How did I do, you know, like, even mm. still, how did I get it to be dollar amounts instead of just numbers? How do I, you know, oh. <laughs> and, and it's, it's like, I, I know how to do it in the, the moment. And another thing for me, an example of that would be music notation programs like Sibelius, which is the one that I use where, so I can create a chart for my guitar students or whatever. And so when I'm into it, I'm using it every day. I know all the shortcuts and I can, I'm really good with it, but I, you, I lose it if I don't use it. It's not like a, it's, it's not like riding a bicycle or something. What I love um, about uh, PowerPoint, I used to use it a lot when I was yeah. working corporate, I had presentations to do at, um, you know, my, agencies and stuff and um, it was a lot of work you know but for travel I would like I would be I knew that for example I would be visiting 15 banks I would be having 15 presentation you know yeah, for every yeah. bank and it was a lot of work and then 
I didn't use PowerPoint for a while because when I moved here, I didn't work corporate. Yeah. And then I did recently uh, this summer, and I was very, very pleased to see that it had evolved that much. So I just started doing my presentation and it does organize it all for me. When oh, I right. add a picture, yeah, how it, it organizes it for yeah. me. And I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, all, the, all, the, all the enhancements it has. And it, the, um... it cut the, you know, the, the, the time, the work in like two or three. Yeah. Honestly, we, we, excuse me a second. I know we're on the air, but this is this is Corvo. So, hey, can can this wait for a couple minutes? Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll call you back in about about ten minutes or so. So that's James' daughter. Every time where she decides to call yeah. James when we are live, and he has to pick it up. She's nineteen. Yeah. Uh, well, I I mean you're gonna you're gonna pick it up. I I know what they're doing. They're um. This is actually a pivot, but this is kind of interesting for me uh, emotionally. The, she's with her boyfriend, and they are looking at filling out applications to to rent an apartment together. In um, uh, probably this won't happen until like May, but it's kind of it's like well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, in a way it's that, and in another way it's like yeah, good good on you to to go out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm and strike out on your own in, in, in a more independent living situation. That's good. She's like, nice. she's going to be 20 by the time she moves out. Yeah, she'll be 20 in March, first part of March. Yeah. So you're lucky your daughter stayed at your house for 20 years. So yeah, she didn't she didn't have any because I, you know, I'm I'm pretty much a the opposite of a helicopter parent, I guess I'm a sort of a free range parent. <laughs> And so, and so she didn't have any reason to have a, have an argument with me and, and move out. You know, like I know, I know some of my friends that's, that's happened, you know, when the kids are older and they have disagreement and the, the kids, oh, okay, fine. I, I can't take this. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah. So that's good. That's a pretty good thing. Yeah. It, it, it's a pretty good my thing. My son got home. Tu m'enlever tes chaussures, Isaiah? Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah. So, so anyway, sorry, sorry about that. That was sort of de, de, pivoted to a different part of the, my inner world because, because she called, but uh, yeah. So in uh, PowerPoint, I, I like how it suggests the things it'll suggest like, well, you have this, what about this design? What about this design? Yeah. Well, this design it's it's a, nice. a great evolution. It's yeah. got a great evolution. I still like PowerPoint a lot, but you know what? Now for presentations, I remember I did some presentations in France with my business partner and um, we just had images. We didn't have words. It's uh, just images. Uh, and then, you know, we kind of tell a story. So uh, was that in PowerPoint too, or was that in a different? The images were, okay. were PowerPoint. Yes. Okay. But it was just one image per slide. The slide was an image. There was no word because mm -hmm. I remember we use, I used to put a lot of words in the present, in the PowerPoint, which is yeah, not, it's yeah. not the purpose, right? Right. Right. It's the purpose, like you want story. one so, word or a couple yeah, or, or a just, phrase yeah. or something. Yeah. And then, yeah. So that's, um, I do like PowerPoint anyway. I haven't, I, I did it a, a couple of months ago for a front of the room speech I did. Um, and I suppose I'll have to get back, back into doing it. Maybe just make that part of my process now is like, I'm going to create a PowerPoint. I'm going to create a uh, presentation and uh, either do it with Zoom. I haven't done it with Zoom yet. All the presentations I've done in Zoom, I created the slides in PowerPoint, but I had them projected behind me on the virtual oh. screen rather than, um, um, me in a little box to the, the side with the PowerPoint up here in the Zoom window. But yeah, all this technology, it's it's um it evolves, right? It, it evolves and and I actually came across something. Somebody said something about this to me a couple of days ago, and I said, well, maybe I should Google that and check it. Or no, somebody suggested it to me, and then Facebook showed me an ad because apparently Facebook can read your mind. <laughs> Now they do. I <laughs> I found that I find Facebook putting ads of things that I've been talking with friends yes. off the phone, uh, yeah. or even you know, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Big yeah. But brother. this this was called um, it, it's something called Restream, and it allows you to. Uh, one of the irritants to me is the fact that in Zoom you can stream to Facebook or you can stream to YouTube, but you can't stream to both. But Restream will allow you to stream to both and actually to multiple platforms if you have multiple places where you stream video. So 
So I'm going to, do, there's a free option that allows you to, so I'm going to, I'm going to try that. Uh, probably not tomorrow, but when we decide on our new format, I'm going to try that yeah. and see how that I'm works. I'm glad so. that you are the technician. I'm glad that I don't have to do that. <laughs> Again, I would rather just talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, mm -hmm. what are your plans for the rest of the evening? Go and make dinner for my family. It's almost dinner. six. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, do some weddings and yeah, go to bed early. Do you have uh, a list of books that are your go-to, like reads that you're going to read again and the ones that you're going to read that you haven't read yet? That I haven't read yet. I'm rereading The Myth of Normal because I'm working mm -hmm. on a, I'm working on a, um, a signature um, talk. Yeah. And you know that trauma and all of that is a big part. So I'm reading uh, The Myth of Normal. I want to read again, The, the Deepest Well that talks about adverse childhood experiences that uh, Nadine Broker Harris wrote and uh, What Happened to You that Bruce Berry mm -hmm. and Oprah wrote. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a great book that actually, I listened to an interview of the guy who wrote this book on a podcast, and I decided to buy it because it's Wait, so what is this? What is this one? The role of a coach that okay. transforms his life. So it's a memoir of redemption and rediscovering Silicon self. Silicon Valley porn star. Silicon that's, Valley that's, porn. That's star. titillating. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> it's uh it's his story, Jason Portnoy. He was one of the- I think I've heard that name before, yeah. He was in the, one of the founders, I mean, of PayPal. Uh -huh. He worked, worked on uh -huh. it. And he just tells his story about how he became completely addict to porn and, mm -hmm. um, you know, how it just went like crazy for him. But the cause, the underlying cause of all of this was trauma from his childhood. Yeah. And then, so this is a story. I mean, the title is, you know, porn star, but there is nothing porn in it. It's just the story of his redemption and how gotcha. he rediscovered yeah. himself. Yeah. And the person who changed his life is his coach. And he talks a lot about the coaching work they did. Oh, that sounds really interesting. So it's a great book. Um, I haven't, I just received it yesterday. I ordered, you know, I ordered everything I like. Yeah. And um and yeah, I, I listened to him. I listened to like three or four other interviews that he did because when I like somebody that I hear on, from an interview, I like I like to trust, to trace him, to track him yeah, yeah. on other medium just to make sure that yeah. the message is accurate. And I really liked what he had to say and his story, the redemption of it. So I bought the book. So it's a new book that I just received that I haven't read yet. That's and awesome. I think it's, um yeah, I will learn a lot i oh he talks also about the book that helped his wife because they were separated and they end up staying together uh, a book that helped his wife um solve for issues too and it's a book that i checked out at the library that is on actually i'm reading it it's called woman who love too much I so think I'm reading I've heard that, of that one title too. Yes, and he talks about it here. He talked. He mentioned it. He was interviewed by Tim Ferriss. Okay. And yeah. the interview was pretty good. And so he talks about it. It's like pretty deep. And for us coaches, I think it's a great uh, interview to to hear. And so yeah. So those are some of the books that I'm yeah. reading. Did you ever read right Tools of Titans? Tools of Titans. It's a Tim Ferriss compilation of of interviews he's done from his podcast. Oh, okay. it's it's no. really it was it was really fascinating. I, I read through it a couple of times. I, it's not organized in any particular way, but it was it yeah. was really there, there's lots That's of good. good ideas in there. Yeah, very good. This year I'm going to try to be more uh, focused. You know, like I said, I'm working on my signature talk, so I'm going to focus on those books that help me like that, and I will maybe pay more attention at the way I consume just information. I'll be more selective, I think, this year. Well, I'll tell you, if you're making those those presentations, you'll have to, you know, go back. More and, selective. And up, up your yeah. PowerPoint game. More focus, <laughs> yes. <laughs>
All right. Well, everybody, thank you for joining us today on the on the big nine nine episode ninety nine. Yeah. So tomorrow it's episode one hundred. So one hundred. Uh, I don't know if we have any plans. Just to we'll just we'll just show <laughs> up. We'll just show up and talk. We'll do champagne. <laughs> champagne. Yes. Maybe we can invite people to come and ask us questions too. Oh yeah, we could do that. Yes. Yeah, that's a good. Idea. Or to tell us about maybe we can talk about some of the subjects we talked about. Just say you know we can look at look through them and. Yeah. We yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All okay. right. Well, thanks everybody. See you Thank soon. you. We'll see you tomorrow for episode 100.